a gauge is a gauge is a gauge, right? Well, not exactly. Hi, it's Paul again. There's actually a sizable difference between readings from a class B and a class 1 gauge. Pressure gauges are classified as either analog or digital and are rated by their precision as it relates to the scale of the gauge. They typically come in two options. The first is 323, three, or class B gauges. With class B gauges, the positive pressure range is divided into three sections. The middle half of the range is the most accurate, within 2% of the full scale. The first and last quarters of the gauge are accurate within 3% of the full scale. Using a 0 to 500 PSI gauge as an example, the first section from 0 to 125 PSI is plus or minus 3% accuracy full scale. In other words, the reading will be within plus or minus 15 PSI of the true reading. The accuracy of the second section from 126 to 375 PSI, often referred to as the sweet spot, is plus or minus 2% accuracy full scale, or plus or minus 10 PSI of the true reading. The third section from 376 to 500 PSI is again plus or minus 3% accuracy, or plus or minus 15 PSI of the true reading. The second option is 1% or class 1 gauges. With class 1 gauges, there's a single pressure range, and accuracy is 1% of the full scale within the positive range. Using a similar 0 to 500 PSI gauge as an example, the accuracy is plus or minus 1% or plus or minus 5 PSI regardless of where you are on the scale. The variation between 323 and 1% accuracy may not seem significant, but the difference between 1 and 3% full scale is considerable. For example, if you're working with an 800 PSI gauge, a 323 gauge can be off by plus or minus 24 PSI of the true reading, whereas a 1% gauge can be off by plus or minus 8 PSI of the true reading. For the highest accuracy, choose a class one or digital gauge with 1% accuracy or better. Gauges are rated at a percentage of full scale, so for the most accurate results, don't use a gauge that reads higher than you need. That's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.